Hey guys, welcome to a little bit of this and that in this week's meal prep and meal plan. This week we have an instant pot uh, cheesy beef and rice. We have an easy chicken parmesan, a beef and broccoli ramen, and a jerk pork over rice. So first, to start the meal prep, you're going to start boiling water for noodles. And then I took the steak and I'm not going to season it because it's going to have a sauce, but I just cut it into strips so that I can freeze it, you know, in case I end up not doing that meal, then the meat doesn't go bad, but I have it ready to go and I don't have to cut it if I do do the meal. So I just cut it into strips and into the bag it goes. And that's the only thing that we're prepping for this meal prep for the beef and broccoli ramen. So then here is some pork because I got a pork tenderloin uh, that was huge. And so I trimmed it and then I cut it in half and then put it in a bag and both went into the freezer. Again, this one was not seasoned because it's gonna end up just going in the crock pot and being seasoned. So then we're gonna cut up uh, some mozzarella slices. I could not find mozzarella, like already sliced mozzarella at the store, and so I just got the block and then sliced it. Then you're going to take your chicken, and I'm just trimming it here, and then I'll cut it into cubes and put it into the bag. I had actually had a different plan for our meal um, with this chicken, uh, but things kind of changed, and we ended up using it for something else, and it worked out. So it just worked out just fine. So noodles are done. I sprayed out the pan with cooking spray and then I put the noodles in, spread the noodles out. I used a breaded chicken patty from the freezer section. You could of course make your own patties, but this was, I was just trying to be really easy and fast this meal prep. So you cover it with the sauce. I used about one and a half of those jars And then you take your sliced cheese and just put it on. And then you're gonna take shredded cheese and put that over the top. And then that's it, you just cover it and in the freezer it goes. So that was the end of my meal prep, a really fast meal prep this week. So this is the cheesy, Uh, beef and rice. So this was an instant pot recipe. You put in a tablespoon of butter, add in your ground beef. You could add some taco seasoning at that point too if you choose. Uh, Then you put in the chicken broth and the milk. So chicken broth was 10 and a half ounces of chicken broth and two and a half cups of milk, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of pepper, uh, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and... I added in some of the dehydrated onions, stir it up, and then you're gonna add two cups of uncooked white rice, and then you just kind of press on it to make sure that it's all covered in water. Don't stir. Then we added a can of corn. And then about 10 and a half ounces, or 10.75 ounces of condensed tomato soup. So then you put it on high pressure for seven minutes and then you're gonna quick release, but do it in the slow fashion because it sprayed everywhere for lots of minutes. It was all over the place. But anyway, so it looks pretty liquidy at first and I honestly was worried I had not done it for long enough, but you stir it around, it starts to absorb, the rice starts to absorb it a little bit more and then you add in your two cups of different cheeses. I, I used a cup of mozzarella and a cup of cheddar, and then you stir it around and it ends up thickening up and it was super yummy. So cover with cheese and that was it. So that was a really fast meal. So this is the beef and broccoli ramen, which I didn't use ramen, which you'll see here. I used udon noodles. So you're gonna need some broccoli. Here's the udon noodles. That container has two packages. So then, uh, and then you'll need sesame seeds for later. 
So we were heading somewhere, and so I was pre-making the sauce because we were gonna have to make this really fast. So you're gonna have, and I was doubling it up because we were eating with somebody else. So let's see, so we're at the four cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of ginger, we're gonna do three quarters cup of beef broth. Now what you're gonna see me doing probably more than that because we were, I, like I said, I was doubling up on the recipe. So a quarter cup of honey, three quarters cup of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sriracha, three tablespoons of brown sugar. So remember that chicken I had pre-cut for the green chili chicken? I ended up making some beef and some chicken. So it worked out, it was great that I had that ready and that it was easy to double this recipe and with, without really thinking about it. So that is three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar and one tablespoon of sesame oil. And then you're gonna add in uh, one tablespoon of cornstarch and then whisk it up. And then when you're cooking, um, you're gonna put some oil in a pan and then kind of sear the steak. And then I pulled the steak out and added the broccoli and then kind of let that soften a little bit. And then I added the broccoli back to it, added the sauce and just let it simmer. And then right before it was ready, we were ready to eat, I added the udon noodles because it takes like a minute for that to like incorporate. And that was super yummy. So this is the chicken Parmesan. So I, from thawed, I would cook it at 375 for about 20 minutes or at least until heated through. And then I would put it on broil and cook for five minutes or until the cheese has melted. This is the jerk pork over rice. This was kind of a different recipe that I've not really ever tried something with this combination of ingredients and it actually was pretty good. My husband wasn't real fond of it, but the, the remain, my kids and myself all liked it. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to need to cook your pork. I just put it in the crock pot for six to eight hours on low and I just had covered it with four cups of chicken broth and then shredded it. You could do this beforehand. It's actually what the recipe suggests. It suggests freezing it with it already shred shredded with all of these ingredients added. I just hadn't planned. You could, when you're doing your meal prep, have prepped it, you know, had cooked it overnight so that when you did your meal prep, it's ready to shred and ready to go, but I didn't plan that well enough. So anyway, so you're going to add two cups of chicken broth, a half a cup of coconut milk, two teaspoons of jerk seasoning, and a teaspoon of orange zest, which you could see at the beginning there. And the orange was a pretty strong flavor, so I would maybe cut back on that if you choose. Um, you put it over rice and a half a cup of, you could put some almonds over the top as well. Um, but the sauce was remained thin, but it was really yummy and I liked it. So the recipes are in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, bye.